Okay, I don't know if I'm recording, but we about to get into this food, okay? Um, if you ever in D.C., right, in, Brent, in Brentwood, the streets Brentwood and W., it's a fish man out there, right? He got crab cakes and fried fish. And he be, he has like a food truck. And he's out there on Fridays. Woo! Baby, baby, you got me, Sizzy. Okay, so I think I'm going to get into the fish first because I had the crab cake last Friday, okay? But anyway, hey guys, how y'all doing? What's been up with y'all? me i've been chilling i've been blessed i've been thanking the lord that i'm not in the workplace anymore oh y'all i gotta show y'all he got some sauce so this is some sauce that he made it's really good i'm gonna try it today i didn't try it so i don't even know why i'm saying it's really good but my um my dad had it and he was like raving over it. some tartar sauce and hot sauce of course all right anyway let's get into it i'm gonna go ahead and try his sauce since i didn't try it the last time we got bones in here but anyway yeah i've been i've been hanging in there doing good um the juice business been doing good but i just want to let y'all know that it's a lot of hard work it's been really hard the girl been tired mm, that's good pushed by someone in the cbd industry to do a new venture to all my people that have been following me for a long time now and they know me personally or that was my friend or whatever back in the day y'all know that I had a business called Bella Pele and Bella Pele is a natural skincare line and in Bella Pele I had a shea butter mix that was with all natural oils shea butter cocoa butter was the base and then all the avocado oils grapeseed oils all the oils tea tree everything that's good for you extra super moisturizing for hair and body and then also um i had the shampoo the homemade shampoo which was all natural you can use it for a shampoo and a body wash i had the deodorant that was good for people with very sensitive skin and i did not want to put chemicals on their bodies through deodorant because we all know what they say about deodorant Which is very moisturizing. You can use it as a hair and face spritz. All natural ingredients. Aloe vera in it. So, I was approached by these people to do my line. But add CBD to it to be sold in the CBD store. So, guys, look out. Bella Pele is coming back as a CBD line. Um, if you want the product, especially if you're somebody that was like an OG customer from back in the day. And y'all just want the product without the CBD. We can work something out. Holla at me. I got you. Because I know a lot of people have been asking me to bring Bella Pele back. And I was doing everything else. I was working. Boo. And I was um, doing a juice. But now I'm going to be doing the juice. And be doing Bella Pele. So. Yeah. Excuse the big bites that I'm taking. Um, it's because as y'all know I'm straightening my teeth right now. Um, I have my liners out of my mouth so I can eat, but with the liners, when you take them off, your teeth feel loose, so you gotta chew with them back so you can't really be like biting like how you buy a sandwich. I haven't had a sandwich in a minute. Can't bite down. Your shit feel weird. But I'm going to tell y'all. It hasn't been a month yet. And. I've been feeling like it's doing something. I had to get used to it at first. But now. I'm on set three. And. I'm getting used to it. It doesn't even hurt anymore. It's like just the. Tight feeling, uncomfortable, but that's about it. Again, you gotta brush your teeth a lot, a lot, a lot. You gotta brush your teeth all the time. That's the most annoying part about this to me. Again, you gotta brush your teeth a lot, a lot, a lot. You gotta brush your teeth all the time. That's the most annoying part about this to me. 
Uh, comment down below what been going on with y'all. Like, anybody got a channel or any videos they want me to check out? Any social media, any groups, any anything new? Like, what's going on? One thing I can say is, I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with the Lumi commercial, the Lumi company that I work with, but um, they just hit me up to do another commercial, so I did, um, they pay very good, so I made sure I hopped on it, as soon as they hit me up and talk that cash talk, and it's done. So now, like they did the original one, they're going to take it and edit it to their liking and put it out there. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, if y'all thought the first one was off the hook, the second one's about to be off the hook. I'm going to let y'all know that I did this one under the influence. I had so much fun. It just feels good that some people that don't know me that live in Chicago seem little old me and said, you know what, girl? We like you. And we want more of you. Just be yourself. And we're going to pay you for it. What? Are you kidding me? Do y'all know what me being myself has gotten me when I've been on the workplace where I supposed to been, when you're supposed to naturally go to get paid? Being myself has got me hated on. Singled out. A nightmare. But, the universe let me know Tamika, there's nothing wrong with you There's nothing wrong with you Whatever problem people have with you for no reason That's their business, that's their problem You know I just have to accept that And then, look, lo and behold, there was people who really liked my personality and wanted more of it. And when they pay me, just to be me. So, I said the same. I'm going to be 40 this year, and I'm never going to stop being like this. I'm never going to stop being me. It's been set in stone. There's nothing wrong with me. The people that have a problem with this huge personality, they really have a problem with yourself. Whatever negativity they're trying to speak on me, they're really speaking about themselves. Y'all, oops, y'all, I just want to say, everybody wasn't meant to be a boss, and everybody's not meant to be a part of the crowd. So we all some people that's a little different. Just be kind. Just be kind. Because a lot of times I couldn't understand when I was out in the working world that
the only people that goes around being mean to people or bullying people is people that are very unhappy. And I did not think of it like that. That it could be just that simple. I did not think that. I thought that. I don't like that. I know I'm annoying. I'm not going to sit here and fake like I'm the most chill person to be around. I know I can be annoying sometimes, but people flat out it's just like me. But oh well. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm living my dreams. Not quite. We can't travel anywhere because of COVID. Some people still traveling. I mean, I did go to Cali, but that was it. I went and came back. It's, it's, it's just too nerve-wracking. It's not the same going out of town or going somewhere and you just got to be masked up and all this. It's just weird. It's something that we're going to have to get used to, I guess. But it's very weird. Burn. But it is time to go on a vacation somewhere. I do need to be on a beach like real soon. Within the next couple of months. My teeth now I got you so carefully now. But I'm happy. I'm living my dreams. Working for myself. Straightening my teeth. Made it to the age of 39 in one piece. Because people know me. No. I've had some wild times. I'm just thankful to God. Thankful to God that um gives me a chance to get up every day and go seek opportunities out if I want to or chill if I want to. I ain't always have it like that. So for that, I'm so grateful. Somebody from Maryland hit the Powerball. And I was highly salty. I've been playing this Powerball and I need this money so bad. It just kept going up and up. And I'm like, damn. I can get at least 50000 Somebody hit that shit. I was highly, highly salty. Highly salty. I ain't gonna lie. There was no positive self-talk. Or anything that I can do. That made me back feel better about that situation. Mm -mm. I'm still saucy about it, but I'm letting it go slowly but surely because I don't have no other choice. So, you know. I was praying. I just pray. 
Will somebody swing my way? Real soon. Guys, I'm trying, you know. I worked on jobs for a long time. Being a good employee. I have two businesses now that I'm trying to do. I'm a entrepreneur. I've never been the one to try to get out here and hustle on my own. But it took me almost 30 damn years to see that the grind that I was on was not going to be successful for me. If I were to stay on the track that I was on, I would be mentally ill before I even retired. I'm trying to do two businesses. Do a couple of little side gigs, like commercials and stuff on the side. I'm trying to do YouTube, which I think I've been doing YouTube now for five, six years, and it's not popping off. But I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna turn shit up for 2021. For sure. And I know I'm gonna do this because as a Virgo woman. I've been holding myself back. I'm giving out too much of my energy. Um, just, just giving it out too much because it's helping and it's healing to other people. But I can't do that. If I want to become successful, if I want to become wealthy, I have to be more selfish with my time, my resources, my energy overall. Well, that's what I'm doing. So anyhow, I just wanted to come on and say, hey, I ain't got too much going on. Just wanted to say, hey, um, I'll be updating y'all on my teeth and about couple of weeks when I get to trade 7 or 8 and we're number 3 now everything's going to swim I have no complaints I want to thank all you guys for watching subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting don't be shy interact with me down here you know in the comments, I like to talk. I like to meet people. Like, stop being shy. I like to thank God, the universe, my assimilator. I want my assimilator. I'm praying that my, my assimilator up there gets get more serious in the game. Get more serious in the game. Y'all, back in the day, I used to hang with this girl that used to play Sims. And... She was so into Sims. Her Sims character's house would be banging. They would just be. She would have that shit sold up. And she would be into it, making it look so fun. That I try to get on. And I try to get on it. But I didn't get it. So I would be always doing just the basic stuff. And I feel like in my life, whoever's assimilating me. I was playing a game of life like I was playing a game of Sims. And I need you to get stronger in the game. Read the manual. Read the manual. Read a cheat book. Purchase some more coins. Whatever you gotta do. But anyway, thank you. So thank God. The universe. My simulator. My viewers. Thank y'all.